Hello and welcome back to the Inspired Art Blog channel and this is Sarah and today I have for you the Lord of the Rings um, complete recordings and this one is the Fellowship of the Ring and recently I was able to find all three of these complete recordings um, from someone and I got these used and um, I also got The Hobbit, the first film, uh, as well with it. And I'm very fortunate to have found these finally because they're really hard to find sometimes. And I have the book about the Lord of the Rings music scores. And as a music composer, it was the best investment that I had made as far as anything to do with like music theory or composing or anything. Um, when I was in college and I bought it and I am so glad I did because it applied a lot of the music theory concepts that I was learning at the time in school, in college and university, um, to something that I knew and loved and enjoyed and so I'm very happy that I was able to finally get these <laughs> um I don't know I've probably wanted these for over 10 years or so I don't know I've, I've known about these for um a long time um I think I think even back into high school but at least in my college years anyways and so I'm really really thankful and so there's like gold writing here and it's kind of meant to look like a book this is like a textured material i'm not sure if it's like a tape or if it's actually like a type of uh cloth or something but we see howard Tor's name here um and here's the back and you open it up and it looks like a old book on the sides as well um it's very nicely packaged and uh this one has four discs um and this is um disc four so this is the entire score on uh dvd and it comes out and uh it always sounds so weird because it's like a gel stuff but it has the um one ring verse there in uh the tanguar um and i love um i love um tolkien and lord of the rings and everything and i could talk about that for a long time as well and then it has a little ribbon, so you can pick everything up and out. And we have the ring, ring verse again here. So we will close this up. Firstly, we have the track listing. Um, there's a track listing sheet here that's separate to the album. And that's nice that they have that with all the little copyright credits and so forth. So I'll just put that back in. And then Next we have the photo and lyric book, and we have the CDs, so we'll see it, look at these. And on the left side we see the track listing for um, disc 1. And uh, once again we have the ring verse underneath. And then disc 1. And disc 2. with the track listing again. And that's nice that they did that again because then it's easily accessible. And then disc three. 
And then of course it says down here in DVD, audio, we have Dolby sound and then also high resolution sound in 48, 24-bit, which is really, really, really nice that they did that um, because CDs are usually 16-bit audio unless they're like an HD CD or something. And uh, yeah, they really package this nicely. It's like a little book and I like that they put these in a, a digipack case um, because it protects the disc a bit more. It's not terribly difficult to get it out and I like that. Um, and they don't tend to crack as easily as a jewel case will, so that's really nice. And then here um, we have the um, photo and lyric book. Um, and this was, this came out, I believe this edition came out, um, before the book on the Lord of the Rings film scores. So that book is, um, I don't know, it's probably like four, 400 pages or something. And, um, I'll have to find my copy and I will unbox it on this channel and talk about that as well at some point. But, um... That really expounded upon the annotated scores and everything that Doug Adams, the author, had access to. So he wrote um, a lot of the commentary in here. Um, and some of this um, seems like it was later put into that book, plus more information as well. Um, whereas I know they released another edition of this um, where they had Blu-ray audio. And then also a LP edition uh, in vinyl um, of this. Um, and I don't have those. They're very expensive to get. Um, but I think they changed some of this uh, printing of this because of the fact that those were published after the book. But maybe not. I'm not really sure. Um... I mean, if any of you watching have those other editions and can inform us of what the difference is in the insides, that would be very helpful, I think, to people. Um, I love how he included a lot of the different parts of the score here um, so that those of us who are music composers or music theory geeks can learn about how this score was constructed and so forth because um Howard Shore used a lot of different things that and techniques that a lot of other people may not know um he used some scales from like Arabic scales and he used musical instruments from all over the world and that's inspired me too to you know go and learn about how different musical instruments can be used in different um, applications and so forth. And, um, I mean, I would love to compose for films again. I've done a few short films, and um, I would love to do a couple of video games at some point. Um, you know, just really anything that is worth doing. Um, I would, I would love to, to compose music for, um, I think it would just be awesome to do that. Um, and here it's nice because they have the list of the instruments and musicians and so forth. Um, here's the musicians that performed and... I really like that. And so yeah, here's the performers and so forth, all the musicians. And there's Doug Adams. Um, as I said, he's the author of the music of the Lord of the Rings films book. Um, I think you can still get that, and it also comes with a CD in that book of the Rarities Archive, um, which has some never-before-released tracks in it. 
um, and like alternate versions of the score and so forth. So that is very interesting for anyone who might be a fan of the Lord of the Rings film scores. And so this is everything. And I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching. And look out for part two. Um, so that will be on the two towers. And uh, yeah, look out for that. And please like and subscribe to my channel for more um, music unboxings, art tutorials, and just anything that I find inspiring as far as art is concerned. And thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.